What is up guys? You can see my little sig fig there in the middle of the screen and that is because today we are going to be looking at some mini figures uh, I've been working on for my modern military layout. Uh, so I have 12 figures in total for my standard infantry uh, for this layout. Um, so these are the guys that would be just, you know, enlisted infantry guys, uh, your regular riflemen, um, some machine gunners, uh, and they would be the, uh, you know, the brute f of the attacking force uh, in this mod. So without further ado, I'd say let's just move my guy out of the way and get into uh, looking at these military figs, starting with um, my riflemen. So here we have five of my standard riflemen. Um, let me move them back a little bit, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, these are five of my standard riflemen, uh, each one carrying an M16. Um, I will probably be replacing those uh, with M4s without the carry handle, um, just because it's a little more accurate to the time frame I'm going to. Uh, I just unfortunately did not have enough Brick Arms M4s, and I wanted them all to um, be similar, you know, carrying the same weapon, things like that. Uh, so yeah, um, these are uh, the M16s here. Um, I'm not entirely sure where these came from, if these are brick arms or something else, uh, somebody else. Uh, someone can probably let me know down in the comments if they want to take the time to do that. Um, probably help out a couple people if they want to get their hands on them as well. Uh, but I do know that the vests they are wearing, those are brick arms. Uh, they have the two magazines in the front and the single stud on the back for um, attaching a rucksack or something like that, or um, maybe a, a radio pack or something. Uh, they all are also wearing that belt that you see around the hips. Uh, originally, that did have a, um, a holster for a handgun on the side of it here, but in my opinion, it was really big, it was really bulky, um, it kind of got in the way of the minifigure's hands, and uh, I was kind of going for a more realistic approach, and the average infantryman isn't going to be carrying a handgun. Uh, so I opted to just remove them. I'll be filing them, uh, smoothing them out a little bit um, in the coming days, but just so that you're not wondering where that piece came from or if it's something that's really hard to find. It is just a modified piece that uh, is pretty easy to find from third-party sellers. So these are, as I was saying, these are my standard infantry guys. They are all identical, um, except for the face. So there's really not much to see um, aside from getting that 360 view of this guy. Uh, and the only difference between them other than the face is the goggles on this figure. So we'll move along from them and bring in our grenadiers, which again, I have five of. So these are my grenadiers. You can see they're carrying the M16 with the uh, the grenade launcher on the bottom. Uh, still with the rail, I will be replacing these with an M4 as well um, at some point um, with, with the grenade launcher on the bottom. Uh, but as for differences from the standard infantrymen, uh, aside from just the rifle, you can see they are wearing a different vest. Uh, three mag pouches on this one and a clip in the back, which I decided to just put a handgun on this guy, um, denoting him as maybe an officer or maybe the leader of this platoon or something like that. So, yeah. Uh, again, they are all um, pretty much identical, aside from the face and the exception of this guy having a handgun on the back, whereas the others do not. So we'll move on from them. And we will move to the final two figures, which are my uh, squad gunners. So these are my 249 gunners, uh, two of them, each obviously carrying a 249. Uh, you can see their vests are just the plain uh, plate carriers uh, without any mag pouches or anything. Oh, knocked the little bipod off of there. Uh, but yeah, without the mag pouches, um, just because, you know, these guys aren't going to be carrying uh, standard magazines for an M4 or an M16, 
uh, but they do have these rucksacks on the back. So I wanted them to have those just because they're going to be carrying that extra bit of belt ammunition and stuff like that. And I was really going for realism on these. Um, so yeah, that is all of my figures uh, for my standard infantry for my um, for my modern military mock. I will be making some videos uh, covering some more figures that I've made for the same layout, um, such as my special forces team, uh, some of my opposition force figures, and maybe an extra video for some of my Russian figures if I get them uh, a little more updated to the point where I like them. But yeah, stay tuned. I will have um, a lot more videos coming out uh, showcasing figures some of my builds, and eventually doing a full cover of my modern military layout that I've been talking about throughout this video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, let me know if you like these figures down in the comments, what maybe I could do better, or maybe something that you liked about them that you might use in your own builds. Uh, I'm really interested in hearing all about that, so just let me know, and thanks a lot for watching, guys.